Christmas, and Valley fans were loud and proud during the Rangers' state semifinal matchup in Big Board Sports. Let's kick off the fifth round of the high school football playoffs down in Buccaneers Stadium in Corpus Christi where the Smith Valley Rangers and the Brownsville Veterans Memorial Chargers faced off in the Class 5 AD1 state semifinals tonight. This game, all Rangers. First quarter, the handoff goes to Brad Sowersby, one of last week's stars. He gets outside, finds Pater, 29-yard touchdown run, and the Rangers score first, 7 to nothing. They led 14 zip after one. Second quarter, cue up the Rangers defense. Brownsville going to throw the ball high and off the hands of the intended receiver. It's intercepted by the Rangers' Diego Davila. Smith Valley football, and they cashed in on that turnover moments later. Daniel DeHoyle scores from eight yards out, and the Rangers led 28-zip early in the second quarter, and Smith Valley rolls into the state final, winning 49-21. Feels like we're going to play it to the end, you know, and uh, this team thought they would. You know, this is not a shock. They, they, they had this in mind all along. It was a tough road. It has been a tough road, but they met it head on, and uh, we'll be proud to get on that bus next Friday. It's obviously a big game, the state semifinal. We had a good uh, week at practice. We knew what we knew, and we came out and executed. Good job by the coaches. All the players did good, and we won. The Rangers will play the winner of Alito and Forney for the 5A D1 state title Friday, December 15th, 7 p.m. at Jerry World. And check out the Davenport Wolves taking the field at McLean Stadium tonight in Waco for their Class 4A Division I state semifinal showdown with the Tyler Chapel Hill Bulldogs. First quarter opening drive, Wolves march down the field. QB Tristan Hamlin gets flushed out of the pocket, throws the ball to a wide open Kyler Payne in the end zone, 26 yards, and the Wolves lead 7 to nothing. Still in the first First quarter, Wolves down 14 to 7 when Hamlin finds Payne again. Hamlin with time throws a pretty ball over the top to Payne, and he's a big pain for the Dogs defense. 60 yard touchdown reception, point after it was no good. The Wolves trailed 14 13 and 21 20 in halftime, but in the third quarter, the Dogs pulled away thanks to their vicious rushing attack, and Davenport falls in Waco 56 to 33. Yeah, I mean, it hurts right now, obviously, you know, one game away from. You know, state. Um, but like I told all the guys, they don't have anything to hang their heads on and they keep their chin up. Our senior class has been so vital to our program. Um, they set the bar up high for all the younger classmen, and you know they believed in us. They believed in each other for um, the four years that they opened up the school, and it's just amazing accomplishments um, for them. And um, we'll be back. We'll be back. Davenport wraps up their season 11 and four. Very nice run by the Wolves. And tomorrow afternoon, the number one ranked Steel Knights will face the humble Summer Creek Bulldogs in the Class 6A D2 state semifinals. The Knights' first trip to the state semi since 2016 and the first ever state semifinal appearance for Summer Creek. Steel knocked off Dripping Springs 28 21 in the regional final, coming up with an interception late in the game to seal the deal. Now they're one win from state, but they're focused on the Bulldogs and not looking ahead. So as coach signs. It's human nature to say, you know, oh, you win this one, we're going to go to the state championship. But, you know, without you taking care of business, you know, on Saturday, there is no next week. And, you know, it's been like that since the beginning of the playoffs. It's taking it, you know, one game at a time and not looking ahead at whether it was, you know, who's going to play in the regional final, who you're going to play in the third round, uh, who you're going to play, you know, in, in the in, in the semifinals or state. It's it's about, you know, taking it one play at a time and, and doing your best each and every play. That game will go down tomorrow, 4 p.m. at McLean Stadium in Waco. Steel and Summer Creek will have your highlights tomorrow night on the Night Beat.